Remember how I was telling you guys last night that I always end up watching TV? Totally me. So much to do. How will I ever get this done? Also me, lounging by the pool. <laughs> That's funny. Hey guys, good morning. I told you I was going to be in the same outfit as I was yesterday. Here I am. I probably will change my shirt at least just because I was in it yesterday. Uh, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I don't even know that I'm going to do that. I may not, but right now I'm putting on some makeup so I can film some beauty videos. I didn't get up as early as I wanted to. Um, I really, I was actually up at about 7.30, but we didn't get up out of bed. All the girls woke up late. I'm guessing it's because they had a rough couple of days. I don't know. I would assume. I mean, they didn't get much sleep the few days before, so I would assume that's why they didn't get up. Oh, I don't think I put enough dark foundation. Oh well. It's just going to be for a few videos. But because they didn't get up early enough, it was too hard to like get things started because I had to feed them breakfast and everything. So now, I don't know, it's a little after 9 and I'll get my makeup on and probably get one, maybe two videos filmed, which is cool because at least if I have some makeup on, I can get the rest of them filmed throughout the day which will work out good I gotta run some errands which I didn't really even think about it if I don't get to running my errands today it's not the end of the world because I'll be with Bea tomorrow and she doesn't mind running errands like she may actually have something to do also so that'll work out fine I just spruced up my hair kind of reactivated those curls with water and I'm going to quickly put on makeup but my key to doing this this morning is as I'm using products I'm going to leave them out because actually I think I'm gonna put them in this drawer because I want to kind of keep everything that I use normally out to take on vacation since I'm pulling it out anyway it's a good way to figure out what exactly I need to take without having to go through it. I actually packed my, well, our toiletries yesterday. Like all of our uh, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and all that good stuff. I packed all of that last night. The only thing I didn't pack was makeup, which I'm doing right now killing a couple of birds with one stone I haven't got a chance to reading comments oh well no the video is not even up I asked last night about the things that you guys commonly forget and I had some I actually need to look for them I had some laundry bags and stuff I need to go to Dollar Tree I think I wanted to get somebody had a suggestion for um, like over the door What are they called over the door shoe hangers or something since the bathroom is so small on the cruise That way you can lay it out and then hang like put all your stuff in it So I know Dollar Tree has those I think I want to go get one, but I need to make sure I can find my Laundry baskets because that was one tip I gave you guys in that Dollar Tree haul and I actually got it from a hack like one of those hack videos on Facebook but it was to take a laundry basket, like one of those mesh foldable laundry baskets with you for all of your dirty clothes, which I think is a fabulous idea, especially with so many little clothes that we have. I think it's a really great idea to put all the clothes together and worry about washing them later. And actually, especially because when the resort we're staying at, in Galveston it has a washer and dryer in it so I actually think I'm going to take some laundry soap and stuff with us or buy a little trial size there and wash a load before we go and that way if I'm not taking any of this stuff with us like I'm only packing the girls two pairs of pajamas for nine days because I just don't they're going to take a bath probably every day. I just don't see the need in packing more. But if I need to wash anything, 
I brought them just enough outfits to not have to not have to wash but if I need to wash anything I'll wash it Sunday night that'll be three days worth of outfits and stuff and either it'll be clean for when I come home or if I need to take anything we can certainly take stuff so what am I doing anyway I'm just gonna finish up my makeup here film some videos and then get on about my errands okay right, so I got one video filmed which I really wanted to get three filmed but I did get the most important one which was the Torrid Target Kohl's Walmart Old Navy haul <laughs> which had a bunch of clothes that I'm taking on the cruise so I wanted to get that up and uploaded for you guys before I left so I got that filmed, I got the outfits tried on and filmed, which is good. But I didn't get to do my boxy charm and I didn't get to do my products I've used up, which I wanted to do those, like I said before, today before I left. So I'll probably try and do them later. And the rest has a long day today at work. So it's just the girls and I all day. Maddie is taking two weeks vacation from school. So this week, she won't be in school next week, obviously. We'll be on the cruise. She won't be in school. Here, Maddie, go ahead and close that one. And then, um, so she'll be here. So she'll be here all week with us as well. So I'm going to try and get done as much as I can, even though I'm going to have all of them. Like today, I got up, filmed that video that I showed you guys, um, did my makeup and everything, which this lipstick is probably going to have to go. I found lipstick on my teeth several times. It's kind of a bright, finicky lipstick. Um, let's take them in the car. Yes, how about that? How about that? <laughs> so I'm making us PB&J for the road because it is 11.25 and I know I'm going to be out for a little while and I don't want to have to buy them lunch or myself lunch, especially when we're going to be eating a whole bunch of junk next week. We are headed to Haven for Hope and I used to volunteer here when I was back in, when I was in college, back in college. And there's an area where like families and stuff stay and they have a chow hall like for everyone to be able to eat. And then there's areas where just people who are homeless but they haven't been placed in an area or into a shelter or into a group home or a woman's shelter or a, ch a children's shelter. Like they haven't been placed somewhere. There's awnings and stuff for them to be able to sleep under like if it's raining or it's super hot they have um, like basketball courts and just different things for people to do so they're not out on the street during the day and then they have like areas where they can set up cots and stuff at night but I'm not I've never actually I've donated my time but I, I keep looking down at my phone to see where exactly this place is I've donated my time there but I've never actually donated stuff so and this is the first time I've been down to like the warehouse area so I actually have no idea where I'm going <laughs> then I'm going to have to google directions see like this is actual haven for hope you have to be buzzed in hmm. I have no idea where I'm supposed to drop stuff off maybe I'll call <laughs> but then after this I'm gonna head to the children's shelter and I cleared out everything that we had all the stuff that I was donating I cleared it all out so that way it was off the counters because it was just driving me bonkers oh yeah here is the kids activity center I remember this yeah they have like little playgrounds and picnic tables and stuff and a basketball court a whole bunch of different stuff here it's really nice it, it took over there used to be uh sam shelter which actually growing up we visited quite often because one of my mom's best friends was there with her kids for a while and um we visited that pretty often just in case you ever wanted to donate here it's the big yellow building haven for hope the blue sign Oy. So I'm actually going to see what all they can take because the school supplies are for sure going to the children's shelter and I don't know if it was Haven for Hope, someplace said they couldn't take like razors and stuff and the all the shampoo should be fine here. Right 
Sprays, gels, mousse, all types of stuff. I mean, there was deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrushes. Um, the only thing we didn't bring was clothes, but now that I know that they take like women's, men's, children's clothing and stuff, I'll stop taking it to Goodwill and bring it to one of these places. I guess I was always under the impression you had to bring pretty new stuff, but I guess not. They take gently used also. Furniture, all kinds of stuff. So that was very, the girls got to help unload and we didn't obviously get to hang out with anyone or anything, which is fine. I mean, they understand what we're here for. So that was one trip now to the children's shelter, which isn't too far away. And then we are headed to the post office and to go get luggage from my mom's work and then headed back home. Open the door. You're so strong, Mama. <laughs> you got it? Okay. Okay, children's shelter check. We got all of our donated items spread out today. Makes me feel good and it makes my house better <laughs> because the house is looking a hot mess with everything lying around. I have lipstick on my teeth? No. <laughs> and it was so sweet, the lady that's at the front desk here, I didn't even catch her name, but it was the same lady from last time. And when we walked in, she's like, I remember you guys. I have such a sweet story to tell you. And she said that later on after, last time we donated all those shampoos and conditioners and hair products and stuff, um, two of the teenage girls came in asking like if anyone had donated anything. And she said, actually, I just had a mom come by with three daughters and she had curly hair, just like, I guess one of the girls had curly hair. And um, she said she started crying because they never get like shampoo and hair products like that. And I guess the teenage kids, like the high schoolers leave campus to go. I don't know if they have a, a private or not a private school, but like their own elementary and middle school. But she said the high schoolers go to like their high school that they were going to before they were put in uh, the foster system, I guess. I, I really don't know. I didn't really pry because fostering, and I know this from experience, is very hush-hush. Like think there's things that you can't share, you can share. Like a lot of stuff is confidential because it's all done through agencies and through government sponsoring and just different things. And so I, I tried not to pry. I was just listening to what she was telling me. And she said that one of the girls was crying, which like I, oh my, I, oh, just thinking about it, it makes me want to cry. Freaking baby, man. I'm turning it into my mother. My mother cries for everything. Um, it just, it like touched my heart because over shampoo like that. And I just I tell the girls like, 
these kids have nothing and you know she's excited over some hair products and shampoo that I got for free and that just shows you how messed up the world is that there are people like I was talking to my brother at his birthday dinner the other day and he said they went to Punta Cana in Dominican Republic last week him and Clemmy and Clemmy's like travel club and he said that it was very hard being at like a five-star resort uh, eating and drinking everything and then there's people out that you go to the the rest of the country and everyone's starving and it's so it's just it's the same idea like somebody gets so excited over a hair product that the rest of us take for granted and so I'm glad it I'm glad everything is where it needs to be and it just made me feel really good and so that's that it's done and over with now we are headed to the post office and then like I said to my mom's job to pick up the Hawaii luggage or the luggage that we bought in Hawaii because it's huge and I'm gonna try and get home and continue to pack. Say look! I'm walking! Walk like this one. Wait Maddie, Maddie here. <laughs> You're you covering. Can. Maddie can you move please? One, two, three, Abba! 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 You gotta turn, Mom! <laughs> not really used to walking with the shoes. She's like, what is this, Mom? What is this? <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> ah, baby, I'm loose. Baby, I'm loose. Baby, I'm loose. Hey, yeah. So I just got back from the P.O. box. I went and picked up the luggage from my mom's work, and I didn't get to film any of it because my camera battery died. I was charging it in the car and I didn't get it in time. I was gonna stop at Walmart because I have tomatoes and some baguette bread that I wanted to use, but I need basil to make the bruschetta. So I'm probably gonna go later. I'm just tired. We've been out and about for like three or four hours now. And I just didn't wanna do it anymore. I wanted to relax and let everyone kind of wind down, take a little bit of a nap and stuff. But I got a package from Paula. Where do you live, Paula? I feel like it's in... Mommy? Oh, you know, for some reason I I thought you lived in Texas. North Carolina! Mommy. Thanks, girl! OMG! Look at how beautiful this bag is. <gasps> so she was the one that recommended the Target bag. She sent me a snap, or, yeah, snap of it, and she was like, you need this, and I went to go look... Yeah, I, I went to go look at it, and I couldn't find it at my Target. So she freaking sent it to me! Oh my gosh, like, I just... So super sweet. Oh, look at how beautiful this bag is. I mean, like that, mommy. Floral, just like the other one that I got. It, this one's just a lot more structured, which she had already told me that. How beautiful. Mommy, I like it. <laughs> Thanks, Maddie. Congratulations. My friend Paula yeah. sent it to me. Oh, my goodness. It's just white, you see it? Oh, what a yeah. pretty bag. So this actually can be carried uh, top handle, which I probably will do, but then it also has a crossbody strap. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is this? So pretty, okay, I'm gonna have to fix the strap, but it's gorgeous, it's like a white faux leather, I'm assuming, but hopefully, with a bunch of flowers. I don't even know what kind of flowers those are. Different types of flowers, and it has butterflies. Oh, that's a leaf. Butterfly. <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you, Paula! I love it! Ooh, and then she sent me some bags. I wonder if she just used these as fillers, or she sent them on purpose. I love drawstring string bags like this. The girls love them, too. Like the cinch sack bags. Those are awesome! Thank you! Oh, Paula, I love you. You are so awesome. Oh my gosh. I just, you guys just seriously like, oh, warm my heart. I forget, and she like always snaps me different things, and I love how, how honest she is, and she just is, she, I feel like she keeps it real with me, even though we don't talk too, too often, I just, 
I don't know. I just love love you guys. Thank you so much, Paula. That's so super sweet. I cannot wait to rock that bag. I'm using my Dolce & Gabbana floral one. This one was from May in Japan. She actually told me how to say her name, and I still don't want to butcher it, so I'm still going to call her May. Uh, but yeah, this is so totally different from this one. So you can kind of see if you wanted a comparison. Definitely more of a structured bag, shoulder or crossbody. This is like a catch-all, never full type thing. Less structured, fl uh, floppy. Two different floral prints. I am so excited. I love you guys. Seriously, so sweet. Gosh. I wish I had something that I could repay you guys with besides a thank you note. But thank you. Times a million. Boom, boom. You make my heart beat. And I also got a letter from Kendall Rose, which I immediately recognized. Your screen name. I always see your comments. You're so, so sweet. She sent me some, um, like, gift receipt, or no, gift, um, vouchers for Culver's, which I had never even heard of. We do have one off of Days of Allah, so I'm definitely going to take the girls there and get some yogurt and um, some cheese puffs, I think is what they're called. I don't know, but thank you guys so, so much. <sighs> Everyone needs a nap. We're all tired. I am so tired right now. I feel like I could take a nap, honestly. Like, so tired, which is crazy to me. I mean, it's not like I've been running marathons, but running errands with three children is like hard enough that <laughs> feels like I'm running marathons. So it's a little after three. Everyone's taking a nap. I actually think Emmy's watching TV. She's not taking a nap, but she's in her room. So I have a little bit of peace and quiet. I'm going to try and bust out my video. So I'm going to do my boxy charm, and then I think my products I've used up video. I already filmed my Torrid try on like my plus size clothing haul and then if I can bust out these other two videos I will have my beauty video for this week and for next week and I will start uploading them working on editing them so that I could pre I mean working yeah up importing exporting and up like pre-scheduling them so that they'll go live while I'm on the cruise that's my hope I don't know how much of it I'll actually get done today I just got done editing what video did I just, oh, a makeup declutter that's going up today on my beauty channel. And then I think I'm going to try and do, I have three, I think, pre-recorded vlog videos that I think I'm going to try and edit and pre-schedule pre as well. That way you guys have something from me while I'm gone. Because I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be very excited to take a little bit of a break from not even just daily vlogging, but from editing and upload it'll be nice to not have to worry about comments or anything it'll just be recording for my family and I and not worrying about it oh and let me show you the lip product I have on so you can not buy it although I have to give it credit it has stayed on oh it's L'Oreal what did I say Maybelline Revlon <laughs> it's L'Oreal the infallible pro matte gloss and this one is in the shade 312 Rouge NV it's this it has stayed on but it I mean, you kiss somebody, it leaves. You drink, it leaves. You wipe, it leaves. But it still does leave some color. And I wouldn't say it's completely matte. You can see it has a little bit of a shine. So I wouldn't recommend these. I think I have two of them. I really like the color. They're just super high maintenance, especially in the summer. Let me try and bust out these videos before anyone wakes up. Okay, it appears to me that everyone is still asleep. And it's kind of late. It's a little after five. And I need to get dinner started, but I did get all of my videos filmed, and I'm importing the footage now. I even got one of my shows watched. I relaxed a little bit. I kind of want to, kind of want to see if any of them are awake. No. I know Maddie. Totally not graceful at all. I know Maddie's not awake because if she were awake, she'd already walk out. Dang it. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to come back upstairs. Dang it, she was sleeping. I think I just woke her up. I knew it. <laughs> I knew I woke her up.
Hey. Good morning. Hi. Hi, Mama. Did you sleep good? Yeah. Now you're happy. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, Mom. Look where else woke up. Look, look, look. I just woke up. You just woke up? <laughs> Oh, you heard Autumn? No. Oh, Autumn, you woke up the whole house. <laughs> Watch, I'm going to leave the camera. I bet you Emmy comes in soon. Let's see how long it takes her. I look totally different without that lipstick on. Oh, that's funny. I had to take it off. It was driving me nuts. So when I started to take it off, all of my, because I'm wearing a darker foundation, because my neck and chest are significantly darker than my face, because I'm always wearing SPF on my face. So I don't really get as much sun. Like I'll get it up here and on my nose, but the rest of my face is like totally white. So here I am looking splotchy because I took a makeup wipe to it and I had this like huge ring around my mouth of foundation that was taken off so I looked two different colors so I just went ahead and like swept it over my face I didn't get all of it I didn't get all of everything off I still have my eye makeup on I don't even care it's 5 30 I just got done talking to my mom it's been a rough day for my mom's trying to get some stuff figured out with AT&T and it's just a big old her and I have been back and forth back and forth back and forth trying to get the phone and stuff figured out. Um, but I am currently heating up some water. Ooh, I must have had water at the bottom of the pan. We are having Boca burgers with some cheese tortellini with some sun-dried tomato sauce because mm -hmm. our fridge is looking pretty bare. We don't have a lot of fresh stuff. I may actually throw in some veggies to heat up with the Boca burgers. I mean, the fridge actually looks like it has a lot in it, but if you really look at it, it doesn't. <laughs> like, those are all protein shakes and, like, bulk items back there. Um, we only have a little bit of the Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm going to make um, enchiladas either tomorrow or Wednesday or Thursday so that I can use up these and use up the rest of the cheese that I have back here. I'm about to use up this pasta sauce. I just bought this gallon of milk and look at it. We've already finished more than half of it. Um, these, I needed to buy that basil so that I can make bruschetta. So I'm going to do that probably tomorrow. But it's just like Gatorade, a couple bottles of juice. There's really not much. I finished up the bread today. So no clue how I'm going to end up using those two things. I may have some bread in the freezer I could thaw out. But there's just not a lot, so it's kind of like, what are we going to have for dinner? I'm going to scrounge something together, you know? I have uh, stuff in the pantry that I certainly could make, so I am going to, I have some shredded chicken. I think I may actually do shredded chicken enchiladas with, I have one can of enchilada sauce, that's why I'm kind of like, mm, I don't want to have to pick up another one. And then just use the cheese on top. I just don't want the, the cheese to go bad. I know all of the pantry stuff will be good when we're here. Like when we come back but I don't want I freaking just picked up that milk yesterday <laughs> I was thinking I actually was gonna get a half gallon I was like no we don't need more than a half gallon no we almost finished a gallon in a couple of days so I don't know but this is the bread that I pulled from the freezer for the uh, bruschetta I just need to make it and then that's it I've got a couple of bagels um, pasta baby and Boca burgers. Yeah, bagels look good. No, that's blueberry. So those will be finished. I just hate when stuff goes bad. 
One time, baby. The girls are feeding Autumn. That's her favorite pastime. They just love feeding her. Okay, let's talk about random dinners here for a second. So I have a Boca veggie burger, a little portion of five cheese tortellini mixed with some sun-dried Alfredo, Parmesan cheese, and Alfredo sauce, because that's what I had left over, and a whole bunch of broccoli <laughs> on a Hello Kitty plate that we got in Hawaii. So, and I really want to be, um, and so this is like with ketchup, and, and the girls like eating their broccoli with ketchup. Mm -hmm. So that's what they're having. Random dinners for the win. Let me watch out. I'm just by you. Autumn. <laughs> what are you doing? She's naked because she had a little bit of a poop explosion that got all over the place. And uh, she's about to go upstairs. We get to try the job and get ready. Matrix? So I just Yay! left her naked. I'm try so tired. So tired. The girls are like, Mommy, are we gonna get a popsicle? I said, No. Maddie's like, but you said we could. I'm like, did I say that? <laughs> I'm so tired. I told him after dinner they could possibly get a popsicle. I got these for free yesterday. I bought four little to Tostinos. Is that the brand? Tostinos pizzas. And the popsicles came free. So Emmy picked these out. See what they look like. Oh my gosh, they act like they never got popsicles before. No, they're excited about these. Because they might. That looks cool. Mm. 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 They smell like Jolly Rancher. Yep. Mm. They must taste like it. I bet you they do. Mm. 40 calories, that's not bad. I mean, 7 grams of sugar, oh, yeah, but still. Oh my gosh. I'm just like dragging. <laughs> I'm just Ooh, counting down. Yeah. We're about to go get after they finish their popsicle. No, no, baby, is it good? You have it's it. Good. You like it? Mm. Is it delicious? Delicious. Mm. On your bottom. <laughs> children, man. Autumn. Good night. See you tomorrow as I chew on my bow. Give me that. No. Nope. Give me that. Okay. Nah. That one's not, doesn't have metal, okay. You gonna say good night? Look at her hair. <laughs> good night. Yeah. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Oh, Lord. Can I see tomorrow? Mm. Can I see tomorrow? <laughs> They're jammies. Maddie was like, oh, I wanna wear the same jammies as Sissy. Where are you going, ma'am? Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, hey. Close the gate, baby. Close the gate. Thank That's you. What I was about to do. Let her Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Let her move, move. At least you can crawl. wrong. See, that's wrong, guys. That's wrong. <laughs> what are you doing? I, I. She does it all the time. Autumn! She's very strong, actually. With your mohawk. Your faux hawk, mom. No, ma'am. Good girl. Turn around. Turn that booty. Hey, come over here. Are you a doggy? Autumn, are you doggy? 
Then let's get her into her room, in mommy's room. <laughs> Autumn, no ma'am, good girl, no ma'am. These children are not acting like it's bedtime, huh? Come here. Come here, mama. Come over to mommy. No, she just listened to my voice. I don't need a toy. Come here. Hi. Okay, time to wrap it up. Bedtime, Mom. Bedtime. <laughs> She's like, you can't take me. Move, Sissy, you can't take me. Okay. All right. Good night. She made a line. Good night. <laughs> Adam. Good night. Oh my gosh.